Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are next. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to hear energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Here we go. Amy, do the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the Save Sci-Fi so- so- well, so- well, podcast. Well, I'll take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> We're here this morning with Ksenia. Hi. <laughs> okay. Questions. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. So, right so, so anyway, joining us today we have Amy, Scarecrow, and Stuart. Hello. And back. Scarecrow. It's, there's two Davids, so we use his uh, call sign. Can I get like a cool name? <laughs> I Go got on. that last Your choice. year. At, I got tagged with that one last year at Brisbane Comic Con, Brisbane Supernova by Matthew Riley because I looked like a character from one of his books. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, and he, so he, gets, gave me the, he gave me the call sign from the, yeah. well, it's the a book cool character. Well, I'm jealous. <laughs> but anyway. Yes, anyway. Amy, okay. you have some questions? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Don't bite Amy, not too hard. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, most of this um, Lost Girl related. With the first season, what would what would you have done if um, Dyson actually had wolfed out and curled up on your feet when you're ill? <laughs> um, probably would have been very warm. <laughs> I would have been very heated from all his uh, fur uh, draped over my legs, and I'm sure I would have healed much faster. <laughs> Because I get this one of my favorite comments. Why don't you wolf out and curl up on my feet? I know, mine too. I'm glad you reminded me of that one. I, I haven't heard that one in a while. Um, do you want to do the fan ones? <laughs> okay, well, um, I've got a fan question. Yeah, so fan questions. Fan right. question. Um, the, Winch- the Winchester brothers, they are chasing you. The Winchesters from Supernatural. Okay. Um, so they, they, they hunt monsters. Got it. They're chasing you and Bo. Bo. Okay. How do you defeat them? How would you defeat them, given a chance? Well, I probably have Geraldine uh, in my backpack. Um, trusty Geraldine. So that's a pretty wicked weapon to use against any potential monsters. Um, they're and, human. They're, they're, yeah. yeah, they're monster hunters, but yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. wait. Uh, sorry, I thought you meant monsters. Were, okay, the yeah. brothers are chasing us. Yes, yes, yes. And we have to defeat them? Yes, yes. Because we're the monsters in this case? Why not? <laughs> no, no, I think all monsters... It's, it's for a, there's a Facebook group called Deadliest Fandom. What they do yeah. is they put different fan groups up against oh, each up other. Oh, up against each other. Okay. So. Well, regardless, monster or human, uh, Geraldine. And then, I mean, Bo can just succubus anything. So I, I feel pretty safe with Bo around, that's for sure. The male. The male. Yeah. The last about 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, good question. Out of any series you've worked in, what would your favorite character have been? You know, each one is so different, and I love it. For, I love that character for a very different reason, so it's very hard to pick one. Kenzie, of course, is very dear to my heart. This is a character I've played for the longest that I've ever played a character, uh, and I played her at a very, I think, pivotal time in my life when I was sort of growing and becoming you know, more of an adult. Um, so I think I will always hold her in a very dear place in my heart. Um, if you could get any of the characters that you have played on a similar sort of light to his question and spin it off as their own series that they are the lead in, which character would you choose? I mean, I feel like I have to choose Kenzie um, because she's really fun and adventurous and that's not to say that I wouldn't love to see any of the other characters I've played have their own sort of um, story and adventures, but I think... Uh, you know, Kenzie with Geraldine and with all her friends and with her 10-inch heels and, you know, her sense of humor and her sort of badassery. I would love to see her get into some, some more adventures. Any more questions? What, what do you think of your wig collection you had for Ken, Kenzie? <laughs> It was great. I had a lot of fun. Um, and I get a lot of questions of like, wait, is that your real hair? That wasn't your real hair? And actually the long black hair was my hair. And people have a hard time believing that just because I look so different all these years later. But it was, I mean, just as a girl, it's always fun to uh, experiment with how you look. 
And I think that was one of my favorite things about playing Kenzie is going undercover and getting to uh, to camouflage myself. Because I'm just looking at the wig collection going, I wish I had that wig collection, but I hate to look after it. <laughs> yeah, it's too much effort. I had a whole team of people, so it definitely made it a lot easier. Minions, fix the wigs! Minions, fix the wigs! <laughs> I want a purple one by... 5 p.m. today. I was like, <laughs> actually, um, in season five, I think it was, you had made a comment about your hair at the time because you were stuck with Bo in one room. And I'm going, but you made a comment that it was a wig, and I'm going, I thought that was her real hair. <laughs> I don't remember this moment. Um, it's the one that was stuck, sealed by a barrier in um, the doctor's office um, house. And they both turn around and dump the bucket of water on your head so you could get out of that, to get through the barrier. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy. We have one take to do that. That's what I remember. It was very late at night and we were very nervous, but we did it. We were very proud of ourselves. Nice. It only took one take to dump a bucket of water on your head and shove you out the door. Yeah, just one take. That's all I got. <laughs> on the plus side, if you, would, if you were falling asleep being so late at night beforehand, you were really worried exactly, afterwards. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I mean, how often do you get to have a bucket of water dumped on your head? It seems pretty great. <laughs> Then again, how many times did you end up walking in on um, Bo in the bath? <laughs> Too many times to count, that's for sure. By the dollar for every time. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, if you could, what um, series would you like to join that's currently going to Whether it be Marvel, DC, or anything in between? That's going on right now. Um, I mean, Game of Thrones is pretty epic, so I would probably choose that one. I could see as a Game of Thrones. I could see as, yeah. a, as a Lannister or um, or a Stark, a, a hidden Stark somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And hopefully surviving more than ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one good help. You need to get the script. You to get the script. Open page. Oh. Oh, I. Yeah. Oh, it's so, two lines flip, later. They flip, me off. flip to the back. Like, Am I still there? Yeah. Uh, d- 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 no. Well, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Luckily, I didn't have to worry about that problem too, too much in Lost Girl. But you only got killed off one th- once and resurrected, and nearly got I married. Know. And it's really great. You just yeah. really get to do a lot of stuff. I love the weapon collection you had. <laughs> I loved the weapon collection I had. Me, me and Bo combined, we were we felt like pretty badass chicks. Especially the six incher. Uh huh. <laughs> Definitely the six incher. Yep. Yeah. Have you ever managed to borrow something from set? And borrow. Yes. Well, when the show finished, um, I thought I was going to be taking Geraldine home. And I was sort of promised Geraldine, but that never happened. So I keep joking that I'm going to have to like break into the studio at night and uh, <laughs> steal her back. Uh, and put her in her rightful place. So I hope she's in good hands right now because I haven't seen her for a while. But that is one that I would like to borrow. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Thank you for joining us on this very brief uh, podcast recording. You know what they say, short but sweet. Oh, yes. (laughs) Definitely. So we will catch you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.